be powerful that you wake up in the morning and you decree this is the day that the lord has made i rejoice and i am glad in it i prophesy and i declare that gentiles come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising and you walk through that day as if creation owes you and you begin to see all kinds of miracles and all kinds of doors open for you and this brings that that the joy that comes from knowing that your life is producing and commanding results will bring a consolation to your christian experience listen to me do not be silent learn to create possibilities are we together every day is at the mercy of your speaking instruct it to become for you what the word of god says should be the third assignment of prayer you must learn to legislate we have i'm sure in this church and probably following we have members of parliament in this nation house of assembly senate and did you know all that they do is to use words develop and enact policies and these policies directly affect people passes through first reading second reading and all of that they adopt it it becomes law speaking they are paid to speak they speak from their minds from their thinkings from their perspectives if you keep quiet over your destiny is what you do not want that will happen i assure you whether you plant or not something will always grow in the farm provided there is rain and unfortunately it's what you do not want that will grow are we together speak over your business speak over your ministry speak over your family your assignment is to keep speaking in the name of jesus christ i will not give birth for sorrow in the name of jesus my mind is fruitful the favor of the lord is upon me in the name of jesus i am escaped from these six things even the scourging tongues of men you are praying and you are making decrees you forget about what who is thinking or not thinking your assignment your destiny is absolutely dependent on the power of creation things only happen to you if you are silent negative things i mean number four are you ready for this the fourth assignment of prayer is as a tool for warfare and intercession warfare and intercession apostle is this necessary hmm. live long that's my answer i don't have much to tell you please make sure you are alive for long and you will revisit this message again and again and again john 10 10 the thief cometh not satan is called the thief i don't know how many of you want to be friends with thieves the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy this is his tripartite character of destruction to steal to kill and to destroy first john chapter 5 and verse 19 we're wrapping up now first john 5 19 someone's destiny is changing this morning in the name of jesus first john 5 19 and we know that we are of god it says please help me read the remaining part and the whole world stop does that include the region of your office does that include where your church is does that include your village does that include nigeria does that include the space of the land you just bought the whole world lieth in wickedness. When speaking with my people, I would always make this observation. Nigerians know how to lament emotionally and we say, who did I offend? Very comforting statement, but how erroneous. You do not have to offend anyone. Everyone is born in the middle of an old story that you are forced to be part of. The story of the issue between light and darkness is not something that started with us. Everyone was born in the middle of an old and ancient story. 
and can i tell you that story is so constructed that the moment you appear in it you must act in that scene nobody invites you to be part of that movie provided you are born you pass through the womb of a woman you must be part of it satan knows that everyone born of a woman is a potential tool in the hand of god number one he does not even give you a chance to grow if he can kill you he will with joy i guarantee you satan does not have to wait for you to be born again to be trained and mentored uh -uh. in the bible children were killed he killed them without thinking twice and then you now come to stand before god's people and surrender your heart to jesus christ i hope you know that when you were giving your life to christ it was not the preacher who led you that was seeing you alone the realm of the spirit including the demons principalities and like i would tell my people most believers do not understand the power of the life they just received but satan and demons understand what you received they know the potential of this life you have received and they know that by your declaration you have drawn a line i think it was on sunday i was talking to my people and i was helping them to see and appreciate the extent of the rebellion and the stubbornness of satan that for millions millions of years at least as we know maybe more from the time he was casted from heaven satan is still fighting god till today what determination that he will not give up satan comes to you and talks to you about god as if he does not you can imagine as if he does not factor his defeat in the discussion satan never talks to you as if he's defeated I hope you will laugh let me tell you what i'm about to tell you someone came and met me i think i was praying for people after service one time and a young boy came just stood before me and i saw something that looked like the poster of an election and i looked at him and he came with conviction and i opened it and i wanted to run away he was coming out for president of nigeria having shouted and thought that all things were possible i looked at this my dear brother and i didn't know how how what what angle do i become diplomatic do i go directly i looked at this boy and you will know you see the gaps in knowledge the decades of learning this guy would need to ah. yes president i don't know what party i'm not sure there was a party yet in all fairness in all fairness i'm not if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking he stood at the line for prayer said he came to receive it i, I told him i said look um my my dear brother let me tell you this um god walks in seasons number one and life is still levels the gentleman did not agree you see that And I told him, I said, do you know what it means to be the president of any nation? And then the president of Nigeria, he was absolutely convinced. Absolutely. It would have been better if he said maybe he had a dream or prophecy. He just came and just believed that he wants to change Nigeria. He's never been class rep. He's never been um, maybe... Uh, uh, not even counselor leader of some whatever it is you think god hates us that much as a nation i know we've seen against god as a nation but oh, come on please there's still a remnant that this gentleman was almost making trouble i just said kneel down just laid hands on him and said please just just carry your trouble and go i'm not ready so imagine do you know with that kind of determination there is nothing you would tell that guy that's the kind of determination satan has over your destiny that as unwise 
as it looks satan still believes in his agenda that's what that's the point i'm trying to i'm trying to pass across you would think satan should be so afraid because of your last testimony and not come again satan you watch him the bible says he left jesus for a season you testified as a triumph of light over darkness if i were satan i would give up the way the miracle happened he stopped the first child and you gave birth to twins and you think satan will fold his arms he will rest and come back again this is the kind of adversary we have if you do not know who satan is and his level of determination you will take him for granted to your peril i'm showing you the necessity for the warfare and the intercessory dimension of prayer satan will kill anything he finds to kill you know satan does not have an agenda of himself he studies what god wants and creates an agenda out of it it's not like he has a preset no 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 he looks at your life he does not have any personal bias towards you he just wants to know what god is doing and he hears that god wants to lift you that in this year god is taking roger to another dimension he says fine now we have an assignment his assignment is a subset of whatever god is saying anytime god is speaking don't you ever think you are the only one hearing satan is a very intelligent listener when he came to adam he said what did god say i don't tell me what i just want to know what god said because my assignment is tied to what he said are we learning so the moment he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy god has spoken to you i'm lifting you this year and i'm bringing honor and glory to your life don't just say amen and stop you must engage you go to the place of prayer and ward off all of those things first peter chapter 5 and verse 8 have a few more minutes first peter 5 and verse 8 let me show you a very powerful scripture it says be sober first peter 5 and verse 8 be sober it says be vigilant what does it mean to be vigilant to be vigilant means to be sensitive to not be careless to be discerning it says because your adversary not your boss not the one fighting you those are puppets the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour jesus gave us power and authority over satan there are families who continue to watch the devil wreck them and shred them into pieces and they keep getting depressed there are lives you think the devil wants you to continually be anointed in ever increasing dimensions he's seen the havoc that the anointing in your life has done so far to the kingdom of darkness will he grant you access to intelligence and systems and structures that can multiply the anointing he will fight it tooth and nail satan knows what you did with the last 10 million god gave you he knows how the house of god benefited you think he will sit down and just allow doors to be open anyhow you don't know satan he's every other thing but lazy and foolish two things you cannot credit to satan he's not lazy and he's not foolish apostle why is it that other people who are not christians they don't even pray and they move forward there is nothing that is pro kingdom in their agenda so satan has no concern about fighting them satan attacks but in truth he has a protocol listen many of you watch football if you are playing say a semi-final or a finals and you are supposed to weaken that team your your target will be the the strongest of the, the key players they call them is that true if you can bring one or two out i think you've done a good job as far as making a contribution to the defeat of that team that's what satan is doing so the fact that satan is not letting you rest should tell you the role you play in god's agenda 
why is it that out of 10 people in your family he seems to have isolated you i tell you why because in his mind you are equal to the strength of the 10 people rather than seeking to destroy the 10 people one by one why is satan focusing on your church why is satan focusing on you as a man of god you are worth to him in his thinking you are worth to him more than five thousand preachers fighting you is most profitable to him than fighting is a way of conserving energy when he comes to you it should be a consolation that you are really valuable in god's agenda is god speaking now satan leave my family alone that's not it he's found out that there is something in that family you are not aware of that is pro kingdom satan why are you fighting my marriage why are you fighting my fruitfulness why are you fighting this satan does not fight anything for itself he looks beyond that thing and sees what it will achieve so hannah if samuel is coming out of you get ready to be barren it's not about your womb it's about samuel who else will anoint Saul? who else will anoint david elizabeth if john is coming out of you who will ordain jesus who will save the world you are on my list joseph if your rising will bring preservation to god's people so that they become god's covenant people the people from whom the messiah will come then get ready for trouble can i tell you this this is an information i'm giving you as we prepare to pray i can tell you this by revelation and i can tell you this from scripture satan attacks but he does not attack anyhow he attacks based on on how much point that attack will score as far as his advancement is concerned so he can isolate preachers he can isolate businessmen if you plan to be serious with god listen to this message if you don't plan to be serious with god that's all right but if you plan to be serious with god i want you to know that not everybody is willing to be serious with god the moment you declare to be serious with god you have drawn the line with satan will he come yes uninvited yes he's called a thief are thieves invited all you need to do is to be successful build a house your success and your results is the invitation but we have a god in heaven now thanks be to god who causes us how long always now thanks be to god preacher now thanks be to god businessman now thanks be to god that in spite of the skinnings of darkness there is already a way of escape someone should rejoice that there is a way of escape a way of escape in prayer i can engage by the power of prayer and subdue everything that looks like a manifestation of darkness this morning we are going to take five minutes to engage i know that we have spoken about these four points but i am concerned about the fourth because this is where many of us are in and in the next five minutes i like us to take some time to pray can i tell you there are certain gates a kingmaker never becomes a king but he makes kings study the history of your churches in the west the people who lifted the people you celebrate were not lifted themselves so if all you are waiting for is a man's result you may not rise because there are people somebody can see that not even have a church he just sits in his house prays supports missionaries whereas that is the grace you tap into to have an international ministry be careful if all you look at is physical results because god hides great things that's why your heart cannot be seen imagine if a woman's hand is on her head like a woman's womb is on her head do you know what your enemies will do with the baby 
so God hid it inside I can slap your head and God designed it to be strong enough to endure every kind of wickedness that will happen to it but the fragility of your womb your heart those organs God hid it so when God hides people we live in a generation where we are obsessed to be seen let me tell you a secret the more powerful you are in the spirit the more God hides you it's a principle prophets in ancient times hardly traveled even in the West here they were seers they will remain in a room like Habalis for a long time but as soon as you open the door they will call your name and say sit down let me tell you your destiny and you are wondering who is this they say young man you are going to be great but be careful on the ninth year of your life if you are not careful this will happen what I'm seeing you should fail but give me room let me go and tell God to change it that's how they will talk by the next day they will come they'll say I discuss with God you are free you would think it's a joke look those people knew God though. they knew God some of them were roaming around the forest when power fell on their head they were not in a, a, a If our generation does not balance our new revelation with honor we will lose all the covenants that make sustainability that's why we young people have a lot of balloon success we come out today and make noise today and two years we are down because we are not supported by anything ancient i was talking with minister Dusi when he was telling me about his father and the revival and the move he, he happens to be at the same place with, with God's servant. The same region. I've studied some of those people. I've studied some of those prophets. My God! I'm telling you, history does not do justice to the level of power and insight and the knowledge of God there. They were men. They had their limitations. But these men knew God. They could go and discuss with God as though in a board meeting and come out and look at you and say, this should happen to you but i just discussed with god and he agreed to let you go he can look at you and tell you if you don't behave well if your feet touches this city they will carry your dead body you will think it's a joke you just come i just flew in from europe flew in from wherever your feet will touch there and god will honor even if they are wrong he will honor them and then you correct them later on that's the kind of covenant they had with god i wish what i were saying were a lie but it is true lagos hear me when god says it's a season of open doors the real door is not just business the real door is not just properties the real door is not just investments the real door your eyes the real door is your ears because when your eyes is opened this is why the prophetic ministry is powerful and this is why it's the most abused because it's a ministry that thrives on open eyes and open ears do you know i can stand right now sir please come i can look at this man and in the spirit I can see that this man is a multi-millionaire now i've taken advantage of open eyes but because i do not have character and i'm not serious with god i will prophesy to him call his name are you together and now manipulate money out of him that one is not god that one is flesh but i took advantage of the open eyes so i can look in this congregation and fish out the wealthiest people fish out the greatest politicians and prophesy because it is at now is now is at my disposal now by the privilege of open eyes i can deceive and manipulate and because i have details that are true you will believe me are we blessed Who is God lifting in January? Who is God lifting in March? You must have the eyes to see it. So that you can come and plant your impact in the heart of that man. It is easy to rise when your eyes are open. You will know where to channel your energy productively. So you don't waste your time investing in people who are not rising.
Are we together? The first day I saw your daughter, sir, F.N. Nathan, I remember the first day she ministered, I looked at her, I said, ah, this lady is not just a worshiper, she's a prophetic worshiper. She truly has a grace that sets the atmosphere. It's true. The first day I met with Minister Dunsi, I told him, and we continue to talk about it all the time. I said, this man, what God will do with this man in the nations, and I'm saying it even again unto you, the grace, it is his personal competence and sacrifice, but he's an extension of an ancient altar. Believe what I'm telling you, this man you see, is not just a song, he's continuing something ancient. The national anthem of Nigeria says the labor of our heroes past it's not just heroes that fought physical war. There are spiritual heroes past. And some of us you see are extensions of what is happening. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. Listen. There are graces that when you carry, God will not allow you marry from certain places. It's not whether it is good or bad. Ah, this is what your prophets used to do. They will look and tell you, no, I don't know why. The person is not wrong, but this combination is wrong. Now, it is not on all cases. There are people because of the prophecy on their life. Don't get me wrong. I hope you understand what I'm saying. It is true it does not happen in all cases but believe me there are certain graces there are times that God will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married and God says just do what I'm asking you to do I am joining altars more than men and two of you will bring a hybrid combination the children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body do you remember in scripture when this guy was laboring to pay dowry on his wife a ghost suddenly appears her stomach starts protruding say no i've gone through a lot of trouble with you madam my name is joseph you can go and look for whoever got you pregnant i'm tired your stomach is protruding who did you sleep with the nobody a, a, a spirit came to me and told me i'm highly favored what is why didn't the spirit appear to say okay be patient as a husband just let me just use your wife to give birth to the messiah and hear me while all that discussion was happening joseph wanted to is in your bible to leave her and an angel appeared and said mr man don't you don't know what you are doing there is a mystery just be patient let them give birth to jesus you can have your children but be that father you are about to be introduced into a history that you do not know do you believe what i'm sharing so there are times that you have every reason every reason in fact there are some graces when you carry you cannot relocate to certain regions the graces and the nature of the operation of that graces require you are domiciled within certain regions so we will carry those graces God will he will not tell you this is why because God knows we are stubborn so he will look for an attractive excuse to take you to that place do you realize that one time Jesus wanted to pray for a blind person he took him out of one city into another before praying for him Jesus I'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church your man of God is a prophet. You understand? 
I will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people will think we are just talking a lot of nonsense. But believe me, if you call what I'm saying nonsense, I wish you good luck. In this wicked world, this cruel world that ignorance is, you pay with your lifetime. This is the mystery behind the results of people. Now, nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries. You just see people rising and here's what we say, you are lucky. I'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars, there are support systems that lift people. That's why they don't fear what people do because they know what is back in them. hallelujah open eyes that you can see open eyes for your finances open eyes for everything around your life i want you to be tired of the realm you are now i want you to be tired of struggling tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in and no 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 there are superior systems hallelujah this is one of my dear people He's a military officer. One time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram. And they almost killed this, my dear son, for me. I said, Lord, I thank you for the military people who are fighting. But please, I ask you, take this, my son, out of that place. We still need him for a long time. And that's why they carried him. I think he's in Lagos now. So. And he still comes to serve in the media every time. This is a military man. Because even though even though he's fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true Otherwise, a day will come, songs will not come again. A territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months, inviting you every day to every meeting. After six or seven months, they will spit you out, and that's the end of your career. But there are people who remain ever fresh. The secret, I tell you, you look at them, is not necessarily their skill or prowess alone. They are tied to something that is ancient. You don't find the root on earth. You only find the body. The root is in the realm of the spirit. It does not die. Is God speaking to us? We are going to pray. I know that our time is gone. But we'll pray. Before I begin to minister. Ah, this morning God will surprise you all. That that you left your house and came here no 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 he never calls the seed of jacob to seek him in vain and let me tell you this let me tell you this if the next few minutes you open your heart you will be surprised what god will do in your life men are made in the night not in the day the day is for manifestation the night is for making according to god's protocol is the evening and the morning the morning does not start a day if your day starts in the morning, it's already too late. Both conception and delivery happens in the morning. In the night. Listen, while you are seated, I'd like you to be, I'm provoking you, be tired of where you are. And say, Lord, I thank you. You have blessed me, but this is not it. This is not it for my children. This is not it for my destiny. I thought things would change in 2016. I thought things would change in 2017. But Lord, this year of open doors, maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically. Walk around this auditorium. It's time for me to move in the name of Jesus Christ. Please wear the instrumentalist, just help me. Someone is walking around and prophesying. Don't just walk around looking. Please prophesy. I refuse to be in the same position. I refuse to be in the same position by the power of the Holy Ghost.
Shali Kabaranda Salatasiaka Brakataka Tabarakato Sadebalakas. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do me a favor if you can. If there is no space, that's all right. But please pair yourselves into three. We are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord. We want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray. Please pair yourselves into three. If there is no space, just do two, two. Pair yourselves into three. Let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives. Listen. In the next five to ten minutes, you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray. This is going to be the prayer. Lord, every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that I'm holding, I draw that grace through honor. Lift your voice and pray someone. You may be holding your brother, but pray. Parakato shalakata. Outside, are you praying? Shkaparakata. Embreke teke teke parakatos. Lakata prakata zikati. Rebo shavata paparakatos. Lakata prosa na malakata. Embreke teke paruto shodoba. I draw you to my spirit, covenants of lifting. I draw you to my spirit, graces that make great. I draw you to my spirit, sacrifices that open the heavens. somebody's hand don't, don't we lay the man of God please make sure are you ready you are still going to pray the same prayer please these are prophetic instructions I tell you you are not wasting your time believe me a threefold cord that cannot be easily broken you're going to lift your voice again Lord what have you planted in this man what have you planted in this woman what altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility? I draw it
of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to lay your hands on your eyes. And you are going to say the door of my eyes. You are also the door of my destiny. In the name of Jesus be open. Let me see. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray. Be open. See opportunities. Be open. Be open. Be open. See relationships. Be open. In the name of Jesus. Be open. In the name of Jesus. A father. A father. Be open. Be open. Karapato solo brakata. Embrakato skoto balikata. Rakata shalakata. Be open. Let me see my helpers. Be open. Let your business ideas. The door of my eyes. Be open. The door of my eyes. Be open. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, then we'll begin to minister. The head of a man is the symbol of your glory. It is true. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen to me. It is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup. You are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming, whether it is of ancestry, whether it is of bloodline, have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. And I decree and declare, may my head be lifted up he said listen to me he says thou O lord art a shield for me some three my glory he says the lifter up of my head you're going to prophesy my head my destiny rise up rise up from the ashes rise up from the grave someone is praying someone is praying Awake, thou that sleepest, rise from the ashes of mediocrity, rise from the ashes of failure, rise from the ashes of limitation. When it was time for Jesus to come out of the grave, the angel came and rolled away the stone. You are going to roll away every stone. Listen, there are people, the truth is you are standing physically, but spiritually, there is a door that has closed your destiny. You are going to pray. Listen, pray like a prophet, pray like a priest, that in the name of Jesus, that every stone that covers my glory, my family, our name, our relevance, we roll you away by the Spirit of God. It's time for Lazarus to come forth. Someone is praying. Pray for your family. Pray for your relatives. Roll away the stone. Roll away the stone of limitation. Roll away the stone of retrogression. Roll away the stone that shuts your relevance, that shuts your voice. 
are shifting in this place. Yes. Yes. Can I give you one more prayer point? Father, everything tying me down. He said, lose that man and let him go. The stone can be rolled away, but your past is still holding you. The stone can be rolled away, but yesterday is still holding you. Refusing that you will not enter tomorrow. Everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow. Whether it is your past, whether it is your failures. So let me go. I cut away from you. Lift your voice and pray. <laughs> Back to your seat. 
if you've not written your prayer request, we'll give you five minutes. Please write it because I'm about to minister now. Inside, outside, those following online from whatever nation, you can write and send your request. Please do it very quickly. We're about to pray. Everything you are tired of seeing that must let you go. Please write it down. Nobody's reading it. Right here it will be prayed for and then it will be burnt away. So you don't have to be afraid that people will read your request. You don't have to write your name. You just write what it is. Some of you may need to call your loved ones and say, what, what are we tired of in this family? That must go. I'm convinced that a vigil without prayer is a waste of time. A vigil that you did not pray prophetically and strategically is a total waste of time. The ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word remains the principal tools for healing, for deliverance, for breakthrough. This is a very deep and profound mystery what we are doing and is biblical. Once upon a time, three kings came together to threaten the people of God and they submitted the request on the altar. Go ahead, write your requests. The Bible says to be anxious for nothing, he says. He says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, he says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Please write it down. And in case your faith did not allow you to write some things, write it again. Because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them. Because we say, can God make a way in the wilderness? Just, just go around maybe just find a way of organizing yourself please make sure everyone's request is here just you can just submit it we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do, come and do. Set our hearts on you. Open to come and do what you need. We need a move. We need a move. Submit it to the ushers moving round. There are ushers moving. I don't know if there are ushers up there. If they are yet to collect yours, you can just wave yours and somebody will. Please, there are people waving there. Let's let's have their request. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my life is changing in the name of Jesus. Yeah, 
I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same, I've touched your grace, my life is changed, 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 my life is
that will come out from this request will surprise you. The Lord is asking me to stand on it. Listen, the moment I stand on it, the power of God is going to begin to touch people. Please, I want you to bring them out. It's an instruction that the Holy Ghost is giving to me. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me an instruction that the moment I stand on this, and I stand on it in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands over this congregation. Father, in the name of Jesus, the anointing that must open doors right now from the left to the right, the front to the back. May that grace locate people now. Take that grace now. Please bring them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're going to sing a song for me. Let your power flow in this place. Bring them out. Let your healing power in this place. In this place. We go forth and walk on signs and wonders in this place. In this place. Let your healing power in this place. Let your power flow. I'm still praying I'm still praying God is breaking I'm seeing what looks like a rope this is delay and I'm seeing the number 17 right now there are 17 people all over the congregation I stretch my hands the anointing of the Spirit is coming on you now breaking delay bring them out I release that grace delay break now please bring them out now in the name of Let Jesus, the spirit of delay, tying down people's lives, be broken now. Inside, outside, bring them out. The spirit of delay. Whether you are inside, outside, bring them. Lift your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. Lift your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. It's time to walk through open doors. Time to walk through open doors. showing me the hands of people tied i'm seeing hands that are tied i want to pray right now the power of god will come on those people some of you it's not just your hands that are tied it's even the hands of your family god will touch you for your family i'm seeing right now at the count of three one two three may that grace break those chains right now Break those chains, oh my God, my God, my God. Break those chains, break those chains.
to break people free from covenants and yokes of darkness at the count of three you are going to shout that name jesus there is a strong fire from this altar that will fall upon your life are you ready now please bring those people in the name of jesus anyone's destiny here that has been tied by the orchestrations of witchcraft i come by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout may that yoke be broken you will shout jesus at the count of three one two three jesus I bring you deliverance. I bring you healing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release their destiny. Release their lives. Release their destiny. Hallelujah. I give the chains for. Who is Stella? Stella. Stella. You are wearing green. Stella. Who is that? Is there a woman called Stella? What's your name, ma? You are a member of this church? I want to pray for you because your life is about to change completely. What I see God doing will surprise you, man. Can I pray for you? Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan Jonathan you are wearing a white like a white cloth Jonathan who is that is there somebody like that break every chain break every chain break every chain what's your name please verify that they are not just coming out please don't just your name is Jonathan sir your name is Jonathan it's alright I will pray with you whose mother is in a teaching hospital there's someone your, your, your mother also is in a teaching hospital sick I don't know who that person is but please come I want to pray can you find that person I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you I want to pray for you Kemi who is that K-E-M-I Kemi that's, that's somebody's name Please who is that? Quickly. Ma, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I truly see a very serious breakthrough. Why are they coming? Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at a miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus. This girl. Tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family let it come to an end now by the power of the Holy Ghost I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus I command that you go out of her life now in the name of Jesus out of her life see let me tell you we are wasting our time here. God is rearranging destinies. My dear, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. Remember not the former things. This is young lady. 
nor consider the things of old come the lord is asking me to lay my hands on you that things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you in the name of jesus let this happen even by the spirit an end comes to oppression in your life in the name of jesus christ susan 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 i'm hearing the name susan who is susan you are susan specific person I want to bring the person out right now a strong anointing is going to fall on someone please bring the person that spirit of death I just saw like a dark shadow in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare that everyone and every family are pointed unto death by the spirit of the living God it is averted now when the power of God comes on that person please pick the person and bring them out the anointing of the spirit That man near the door, that man wearing red, tell him to lift his hands. That gentleman standing near the door, tap him and tell him to lift his hand. No, the one wearing red, tell him to lift his hands. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you. And I pray. The grave is a spirit. It can call people. You can hear it like someone is calling you. But it is the grave. I command in the name of Jesus. May your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave. In the name of Jesus. For you and for your children. And I declare you are free now. And you are free forever please don't be embarrassed there is the lord is showing me a woman here i know that generally there will be a lot of people there is a woman here this is up to four five six like six years you are trusting god for the fruit of the world who is that person one two three four five six please come your time has come who is that Ribiti Arabata Any last hope it's you Ribiti Stand up Stand up Any last hope it's you Please stand up, let me know I know some of you just came out It's not what I said, but you still came out But God God will still touch you I know some of you I hope you are all married we have to be careful in the house over the things we bring praise the Lord where is your husband please help us with the mic media can you help us with the mic where, where is home Maryland. Maryland you are in Lagos here do you believe that if we pray for you you will have a child. You will come and stand in this altar yes. and testify. The wonder working power of God is a marvel. The power of God is going to come on one of you. One of you here, right now. Now, out of her. Barrenness is a spirit it can hear. Out now, 
release their destiny release their fruitfulness it's over go and return with your children in the name of jesus christ i speak to you and i prophesy according to the time of life i don't care what the situation is in the name of jesus christ i speak to you by the power that raised christ from the dead standing on this altar of pastor amos Fenwa as the prophet of god i decree and declare you will return with your child in the name of jesus my dear is your husband here because the lord is telling me he's here where is he please help us are the mics working call him where is he husband so let's save time and time is, is do you call his name so that he will call shola power shola are you here sir okay someone has got to call you there is a reason why i'm asking him to come i hope you're not embarrassed a few minutes and we will be done what's your name susan i want to pray for you where are you from what do you have to do with anambra state your father is from anambra state i want to pray for you that every altar that stands to destroy your destiny in the name of jesus i cause that altar now out now How long have you been trusting God for huh? About six years. Do you believe the end has come? Hold my hands. My friend, look at me. You believe in miracles? Huh? Yes, Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it's over. I needed to pray for him first. Now, I see what is happening. I pray for him. And the miracle happened to the wife. You see, the eyes to see it. You must trust God for grace. That simple instruction. Look at this. This is to tell you that when people marry, two really become one. Because I wanted to pray for her, and the Lord said, No, this is the man you will pray for. And then this will please go. You will return with your testimony. I can't even remember why you are still. Kemi, all of you, why are you here? You know, sometimes this thing goes on. Do you do business? Huh? What do you do? I sell clothes and I run a training outfit. Ah! Madam, this is your year. You are going to make a lot of money. Is it your mother? Kitchen, kitchen utensils. Ah, okay. I will pray with you today. But, madam, can I pray with you? Don't forget God though, as He lifts you, because what I see happening to you, it will surprise you. June, July, August. There are strange months of breakthrough for you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. These are your children.
I'm not saying if you want to marry Augusto. Please understand what I'm saying. What? I'm saying too many. No, I'm not saying if you want to marry well. Are you married? Huh? August. No, I'm talking. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't communicate it well. I meant to have fixed your wedding date. And it is for August. For some of the people I'm seeing here, you should not be. Is there someone like that? This is what I'm saying. Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for that person. You? Your wedding? When? August. It's been fixed. Is your pastor away? Oh, you just agreed. Ah. I respect protocol, no? so that I don't come and bless. You. Make sure you meet. I will pray for you, eh? but this is this is the the, 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 the relevant committee who work on you. What, what's what's happening, Mama? By August. That's right. They are getting married. Yeah. This wife. Is this wife. This is your husband. Which one is your child, Mama? Eh, uh, my son. I mean, the boy. Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. There will be no accident. Mama, what happened to you? What happened to you? I, 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 think I went to Beria 2018. You are a member of this church, Mama? Um, my son is a member. I okay, okay. You went for burial, and from that, your leg just paralyzed. I first think seriously. Okay, she shared the testimony. Since you are already out, let me pray for you, Mama. No, don't worry. I will just pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Mama. Let the power of God heal you from this arthritis. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost completely set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I pray for every one of you. For whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, you will return with strange testimonies. My sister, look at me. This lady, lift your hands. I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. Stand up. I'm seeing a body, but I'm not seeing a face. I must rebuke bad luck from your life. Can I pray for you? I hope you are not embarrassed. Hold my hands. Where are you coming from? Just lay your hands there. There are so many people trusting God, so we may not. She's already out. I'll pray with you, but 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick, please. Believe in miracles. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. And I will pray for you right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body. I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus right now i decree and declare in the name of jesus be healed right now receive your healing right now receive your healing right now receive your healing right now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now every lump in the breast area or any part of your body i command it to disappear now the power of god is touching people migraine headache be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now heart palpitations be healed now every challenge with your bones in the name of jesus i correct it now Pile, no matter how long be healed now in the name of Jesus there's someone you have severe pain around your molars your teeth in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching that person right now touching that person right now we're going to take a few testimonies here in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have excruciating stomach pain you've not been able to figure what the problem is month after month excruciating pain right now you're going to feel just like fire a warm sensation and that's the end of it i declare be healed now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone i think because of your blood group you have um a lot of pain Help them. The power of God is coming on that person right now. Around your joints, severe pains. In the name of Jesus, right now, the power of God is touching you. Every problem with your eye, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I decree and declare, be healed now. Any challenge with your ears, in the name of Jesus, I declare unto you, be healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating you are not exactly sick like your body but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up in the name of Jesus I declare to you be healed now completely set free completely set free it looks like hyenae around your groin area but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go i don't know who that is but in the name of jesus i'm declaring to you be healed right now there's someone just just around 
the area where you feel pain for appendicitis you've been feeling that pain this is up to two years now i'm praying for you by the power of the holy spirit be healed now supernatural healing in the name of jesus supernatural healing um my god you had a dream and it's like a dream or something from what i'm seeing and someone told you that they will put cancer on you in the name of jesus i don't know who that is i hope you know that these things you see most of these challenges are demonic in origin they really truly are i'm praying for you right now Bring the lady that shouts under the anointing. The power of God is coming on a lady now. I'm seeing a lady, not a man. It's a very loud shout. Please bring that person. I just want to prophesy over that person and rebuke this thing that I'm seeing. There is something in your stomach that God wants to remove out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is an instruction God is giving me, so please just be patient with me. As that anointing comes upon that person, please bring the person here right now. I want to pray. No, that's not the person. The power of God is going to come upon the person. I will still pray, but that's not the person. This one I'm seeing in the realm of the Spirit. I was praying and the Holy Spirit just interrupted me. It's a very strong anointing and it's just coming on someone right now. You see, when you are spiritual, you have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. We are here responding to what He wants, not what we want. And if you are not sensitive, you can miss out on prophetic things from people's lives. Praise the Lord. I don't know why He does these things sometimes, but we just are patient. Please, just be sensitive. The power of God will come on that person. Bring her. in your life and in your body let it go now in the name of Jesus let it go now in the name of Jesus and now I pray for every other person whether I've mentioned your case or not I'm seeing a thermometer this is high blood pressure in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that everything that is not of God planted in your body I command it to come out now in the name of Jesus I command it to come out now let me wrap up by speaking over your life now listen very carefully Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please give it to us Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 Please let's read it together. 